Hey, it's Agnes. I've got another viewer question through an email today and it's from Shruti. Shruti asks, Agnes, please, if possible, would you make a video on self-talk? How to be always aware of our positive self-talk. In my starting days of meditations, I am doing Ho'oponopono and self-love by saying affirmations for a limited time, but most of the time I'm having self-talk and it sometimes is negative and then I realize it when I feel negative and it drains my energy. Please make a video if you can, even send me links if available in your videos. Okay, Shruti, good question. So self-talk and how to always be aware of a positive self-talk. Well, it's pretty hard to monitor on all your thoughts and it is actually quite exhausting as you probably are experiencing. The way to get around that is go off how you feel. If you feel good, you know you've had really good self-talk. If you feel you know that you haven't been having good self-talk. That's why sitting in meditation, practicing specific affirmations what it does is it lifts you out of negative self-talk because while you're in meditation you are there for the sole purpose of changing your self-talk and you go in if you're doing the meditations guided with affirmations you're specifically going over and over those and you are making a conscious effort now the rest of the time go off how you feel so if you go somewhere and you feel yourself starting to get negative feeling awful then you know your self-talk is going from positive to negative going through how you feel is a much quicker way of identifying it rather than trying to monitor and exhaust yourself with your th looking at your thoughts and your thinking all the time okay it's like a little shortcut in the back door now remember too you're human we have emotions high emotions that feel great negative emotions that feel not so great so yeah just don't beat yourself with a stick over it okay like Abraham Hicks says all the time you go into the vortex you hop out you go into the vortex you hop out if you hop out it's no big deal because you can hop back in okay so Neville talks about it as a state you're in a state of whatever feeling wealthy feeling loved feeling important feeling like you're a priority feeling great feeling joy okay so with Neville's work you can go off the state which is the state of feeling okay so the feeling word is there again state of feeling joy the state of feeling happy and feeling the having of something rather than the absence of it. Abraham Hicks talks about it as a stick, two ends of a stick, the positive end and the negative end. One is the wanted, one's the unwanted, okay? So I hope that answers your question and it helps you a little bit to just ease the pressure and remember 51%, you know, as long as you do it 51, I mean obviously if you do 60 or 70% it's better but just go okay if you're feeling bad I just got to do it 51% of the time today and that'll still tip me over the scale okay all right lots of love